Hi, this is Shadi. Today's presentation is very much detailed and I urge you to watch it till the very end before you comment anything or ask me any questions. Everything that is put in this presentation is referenced below. So again, please pay attention. It's very intricate and it's very uh, detailed and it's a great presentation about a subject that is highly discussed. So what I want to talk about today is simply counter techniques. So in the Gokyo, counter techniques are there as a counter to a particular technique. You can see from the names of it. Now, they don't have their own category or they're not placed uh, anywhere below the regular offensive techniques, which tells me one thing is that they are as valuable and also you can create strategies around them just like any other offensive throw. And one great example is Inoue. He had the greatest Uchimata and Muneta knew this. So what he did was bait him into doing it through a Ko Soto Gake so he can counter him with Uchimata Tsukashi. So here you see and he almost threw him. It failed, but it was amazing uh, to watch. So years later in the Kudokan uh, channel, you see him here teaching the same technique. So he hooks the leg and then he baits someone into doing an Uchimata against him. And because he was a short athlete, he can easily just keep his center low and then from there, send them flying through their own momentum and getting a great throw. The next one I want to talk about is Tsubame Gaishi. Now, everyone says that it is just a counter against the foot sweep. So you just let the foot sweeps uh, slide and you let it pass and you just give a little push. Which is not wrong, but you can strategize around it and it's very... Uh, intricate and it would just look like a foot sweep uh, to anyone uh, watching and uh, now don't get me wrong this is a very powerful technique once done correctly so uh, it's important to also note that it's not a big whirl that it is done with the foot uh, this is a bit exaggerated it's actually a snap in the knee now this technique like I said once done correctly it's very destructive as you can see it uh, here and it can be also done from a very static position as well. You don't need those big movements. Now, this is Hosokawa explaining a solo drill that you can do. Snap your knee upward and then just let it back down and sweep sideways. Here is a drill you can do with a partner, left and right. And here, this one. Now, your opponent knows that you're gonna do a foot sweep and then they try to lift their leg once you go again for it. And he calls this Tsubame Gaishi on Tsubame Gaishi. So a counter on a counter. It's very intricate, like I said, but it's there. So you take advantage of the fact that they are lifting their leg either to counter you or escape, and that's where you hit it. So here you see uh, Satoshi Ishii years later doing the same drill but without the gi, which is refreshing to see. Now, let's check out uh, Inoue's uh, sequence for foot sweeps, and you can see the same, much like Hosokawa as well. So this might look like a standard uh, Okuri Ashiharai, but no. So here he threatens with a foot sweep, and as he goes again, he lifts his foot up, and then he gets it. So it's like the Tsubame Gaishi on Tsubame Gaishi. So the sequence goes as follows. Kosoto Gari, Deashi Harai, and then you faint with a foot sweep. So he lifts their le his leg and from there you can go for a Tsubame Gaishi because you actually don't know if they're gonna counter. So technically it's a Tsubame Gaishi from a Deashi Harai faint. So here you can see it. Let's see it one more time. So they lift their leg up either to escape or to counter. And that's technically it as it's coming back down to either sweep, it becomes technically Tsubame Gaishi. 
um, he says uh, Hosokawa do it you know have for fun there's just so many things so here is Ishii again years later he says that they can you know circle their foot and so that's when you go for the second one as well so he calls it double Ashibarai which is not wrong but it can also qualify as Tsubame Gaishi uh, you know, because they're lifting their leg up. This is what you want them to do, to lift their leg up. So they might count, try to counter you. So it's a counter on a counter, so to speak, as Hosokawa explained. But like I said, it's so intricate that it will just look like a standard foot sweep to the naked eye. But again, this is what I love about judo, that the names of the techniques and you know, what they're trying to do, what the reaction is and what the reaction is, you know, what the opponent is thinking, what you're thinking, are you just being offensive, are you baiting them into doing something so you can attack or you can actually defend through a counter, it's great. So here you see they lift their leg up and then this is where you go again. So you don't know if they're going to counter or just step back. So it's a preemptive Tsubamegashi in my opinion or you can just Call it double Ashibarai. Now, if you want to do it from a very simple way, a very basic form, you just start sliding sideways like the kata, and 99% of the time they will try to sweep you because it's just right there. Many will take the bait, and this is where you can work on your timing and uh, prevention. So you can do it sideways. Uh, and you can also do it uh, going backwards. So here you can either take your leg back or snap your knee upwards. Here you see you can go back and they will try to time it to sweep you and that's where you can hit with Tsubame Kaishi. So here you see a, a competition example. He, take, he goes back offering his leg and that's where he hits it. Again, it's a very powerful technique once done correctly. So uh, you might have a worry that they, they're going to have a very strong foot sweep and how to count. And, you know, uh, if I'm going to try to bait them by going sideways, maybe their foot sweep will actually get me. So I'm giving them the technique. Well, you, there is a way to actually protect your legs. Is, is that actually you turn your toes outward in the direction of the foot? That will, what will do this is it will protect your foot from getting swept and also it will actually give you momentum to snap your knee up so you can actually counter them. So here you see Ishii is doing pointing his toes outward which, which will make the sweep uh, very weak in the position of your leg. So it can be done against Ashibarai and also Ko Uchigari if you point your toes uh, again, in the position of in the direction of the sweep. So, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, like headbutting the sweep. So you turn it towards it instead of the the direction where your foot should go. So here is Mochida explaining it much more detailed. So you turn your foot outward as they are trying to sweep, which will actually give you momentum to snap your knee up. And actually give you the momentum to sweep. So you turn your toes outward, slide to the side, and they will try to sweep. Or you can do a weak deashibarai so they can lift their leg up, maybe try to counter you, and that's where you hit with a tsubame gashi against theirs. So, like I said, this is a very detailed. Um, presentation. Um, it might look like just standard foot sweeping to someone because I know in every other grappling art they call it just foot sweeps but the Gokyo is very detailed and counter techniques are there because they're as valuable as regular offensive techniques and you can also form strategies around them and when you are someone with great strategies you have a high grappling IQ. You're not just someone that is strong and offensive because that doesn't matter. So um, if you have something to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.